All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to another episode of Mog Monday. Rob, thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Mog Monday, the show where we play goblins every single Monday. I believe it's episode 24. I should probably check that before I hit the record button, but we're just doing it live. we got a crazy one for today, so this is not your average Mog Monday. All right? There's a, a little fun event here on Magic Arena called Workshop. We are many. And... Uh, I'll read, I know it's behind the uh, thing here. This might sound mad, but I removed the maximum count of restriction from these. Use them wisely, as it will certainly require a different strategy than you might be used to. However, if you can take advantage of these effectively, well, there is great power in numbers, after all. So, this is an event on Magic Arena, where there are four different decks, and there are no card count restrictions. These decks are pre-made decks, um, from Arena. So if you have a look at the Elf deck here, there are 15 Elvish Mystics, 4 Elvish Visionaries, 7 Marwin the Nurturers, and so on and so forth. And each deck has, each deck is like, effectively like 5 or 6 unique cards. Uh, the Endless Ranks deck is 15 copies of Undead Servant. Uh, the Cat deck, which is actually hard, pretty hard to beat, is, um, is... 15 copies of Charm Stray. We don't care about those decks. All right. It's Mog Monday, and there's only one thing we care about on Mog Monday. Goblins. Six Skirk Prospectors. Four Goblin Crater Makers. I don't know why it's not the Instigator Token Maker, but whatever. Nine Goblin War Chiefs. Nine. Eleven Goblin Ringleaders. Eleven. Six Siege Gang Commanders. And 24 Mountains. That's the entire deck list. And uh, you only play in the event against other decks uh, in this pool. So there are four po there are four decks, all with insanely crazy numbers. And uh, of course, as it is Mog Monday, we're going to try out the, the, the Goblin deck here. It's been named Gobsmacked. And um, we're going to see what we can do. These numbers seem a little weird. Uh, that's a lot of Goblin Ringleaders, you know. Um... Would love to see a little more on the low end here of Prospector and maybe a uh, Wire and Instigator. But um, we'll see. There's also basically no removal in any of these decks. So Goblin Warchief should live, which is going to lead to some pretty crazy turns probably. So um, here we are on Mog Monday. Definitely uh, an under, uh, under, uh, un un under expect unexpected Mog Monday today. I can't even talk. Let's do this. Gobsmacked. I honestly have not a clue what's going to happen. So... Let's go. We're going to select our deck. Obviously, gobsmacked. It's not even close. And if we win, we get a haver sack of favor. I, the world is going crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. What the hell is a haver sack of favor? I don't know. Let's just play and find out, I guess. Let's go, Mog Monday. Just another Mog Monday. Just kidding. It's actually really crazy. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, this hand is, is pretty reasonable. So just mountains. This looks like a pretty normal hand here, honestly. So we're going to keep this. And, uh, we we're playing against the Lanarov deck. So lucky they have Lanarovs on turn one. Their deck has 15 Lanarovs in it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's play our one drop. Scarf Prospector. Uh, want to draw Goblin Warchief next turn because we can play it on turn two with, uh, no fear. Elvish Visionary, sure. Little elves versus goblins start the day here. Lanar elves, all right. Uh, our third copy of Siege Gang Commander. All right, a little beefy here, a little beefy. Uh, we're going to pass. We're not trading Worst Prospector for Visionary. This game's not looking good so good, folks. Marwin the Nurturer. So an elf gets a counter whenever an elf comes into play and adds a bunch of mana. They're saying go, though. That's all they got. Um, I think we're just going to play Ringleader here. Doing nothing this turn seems insane. We have six prospectors in our deck, so we'll probably find another one, hopefully. Um, we're just going to do it. Let's go. Goblin Ringleader reveals two goblins, Warchief and another copy of Siege Gang Commander. And uh, we're going to attack. So we have uh, four copies of Siege Gang, one Warchief, and two mountains. And uh, we might be dead. There's a, an overrun in their deck, I believe. Let's see what happens here. 
No? They're just saying go. Wow. Uh, Alright. Well, we're playing Warchief. And I think we're just cracking. I do wish we had that uh, that Prospector still in play. It'd make these Siege Gangs a lot better, but... We're not blocking, so I guess we're attacking. Kind of got to hope their hand's just all lands, I think. They do have a Crater Hoof in their deck. Yeah, that thing. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to kill them next turn. Maybe this thing has a Trample, does it? Ah, oh, it does. Another Goblin Ringleader. Alright. Um, I think we're dead. I think we're dead here. Uh, four Siege Gang Commanders. A little slow. A little slow. A little slow. Uh, it's four of the six copies in our deck. Um, even if we... We need, we need to produce blockers for all of this, as well as... I mean, we're play, we'll play CGI, I guess. But we'll play it, so go. See what they do. I don't know how many Forerunners they have, but... We can block two on this and block everything else, and maybe untap. We'll see. We'll see. Raise and Forerunners. Oh my god. Return to the Wild Speaker. All non-humans get plus three, plus three, and end of turn. And that will signify our demise. Are you serious? You're being cowardly. Marwan's not even coming in. Or they have two of these. This is equal to its power. They probably have two. That's cool. All right, no blocks. Bring it on. Do you have another one? Yep. All right, so... Maybe we should be mulling, honestly. Maybe we should mull down to uh, early war chiefs. No deck can really kill anything. There's like no removal in these decks, so maybe you want a nice turn to your Warchief, so let's mulligan a little more aggressively. Alright. Mulligan a little more aggressively here. Yeah, the uh, the 15, 15 ladder off deck is pretty good. <laughs> is pretty good. Alright, let's go. Try it again. Alright, so this hand has no Warchief. Uh, we're gonna mulligan. Let's be aggressive. We do have like 11 copies of Goblin Leader in so we can obviously re rec recover from a mulligan, so it's mulligan. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. Ship a Siege Gang. We yeah, clearly have plenty of those in our deck. We have turn 2 Warchief here. Our goal is to get multiple Warchiefs in play, I think. Ooh. Rematch. Rematch. That's perfect, also. Turn to war in the play seems pretty good. Marwin's not bad either. Um, all right, well, war chief number two. Now they dump their hand next time. This Marwin can get really, really big, really, really fast. The green deck does seem really, really good. Ah, that's their play. So they drew cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures they control, which is one. So five mana draw a card. Uh, that being the case, I feel like we could probably make some progress here. Um, we're trying our third war team play. Yes, the white deck also seems quite good. All right, Elvish Visionary. I think the reason they didn't put in the uh, the instigator in the deck is because we probably would just combo off and kill him every game. The instigator is the two mana bad mog, mog war marshal, which would be a ritual for a prospector. They're just saying go with uh, enough mana to. They got they have one of these in their hand. They wanna they wanna block and pump the team. They've got five mana up exactly. Yeah, we're not attacking this turn. Which is great, honestly, because we're going to develop our board and go insane, so... Ringleader! Yeah, and obviously it pauses too, so clearly we're not going to attack this turn. We hit Prospector, Siege, Gang, Ringleader. Alright, so we're going to... Prospector. And I'm pretty sure we can cast our entire deck this turn. Sack this for red. Play Siege, Gang. Sack this for red. Play ringleader. Hit ringleader, ringleader. 
<laughs> Please don't concede upon it. Please. Don't. Please don't. Ah, oh, boo. Boo. So as I was saying about, um, about the instigator being like a ritual, so you can keep going. Siege Gang, I suppose, serves that purpose. So, if you gotta get our, our God more in play, ASAP. What's up, Skip? If you folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. It's Mog Monday, the show where I play goblins every single Monday. And uh, we're playing a crazy event here on Magic Arena where they, they have four decks with um, just more than four copies of cards. And our deck is, our deck list is literally 11 goblin leaders, nine goblin war chiefs. It's just absurd. This hand's perfect. Keep. So we going crazy here. Uh, is is the deck was displaying on the cardboard live overlay? Ooh, Stitcher's supplier, Jamil's land land undead servant. Okay, so they play this thing as much as zombies. It's fine. This seems like a good matchup for us. Turn to war chief every time. We'll attack. Sure. They also have Crypt Breaker in which is kind of cool. Supplier, sure, sure, sure. Rob says, hey Jim, just finished watching your Yurdeck Live video on Green Black Croxa deck for Aether Mech. Took a very similar list to 4 3 GB Phoenix. Awesome, my friend. Welcome. Alright, so. War Chiefs can't really attack anymore. Uh, we're just gonna play Ringleader. I think it's not drawing cards with the uh, Crypt Breaker, which is pretty cool. We hit. Prospector, Siege Gang, Ringleader. Alright, cool. And we are. I guess we're gonna attack because we. I wouldn't trade the War Chief for two suppliers, but I think I would trade this. They can't keep drawing cards. See so yeah, attack. Coming in. Curious how long the fun factor is in this format? Probably about one episode of Mog Monday, and then we'll never do it again, which is perfect. That's just good TV, you know? Crypt Breaker, of course, phenomenal card in the zombie deck. Ooh, Death Baron. So all of their zombies get plus and plus one and have Death Touch. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, get going here a little bit. All right, it's not like the best uh, runs. We're looking for another war chief, really. Let's play uh, a ringleader. Let's reveal prospector and another ringleader. Sure, a prospector. And we could cast a ringleader off of two ringleaders. Three. I'm sorry. No, we can't. Uh, as much as I go here. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could we could, we could maybe kill, kill the Baron this turn. I'm so focused on Goldfishing, I don't even, didn't even consider it. Uh, but we can't do that anymore, so we're fine. We'll be all right. We could sack. I guess we could sack, sack these two things and kill this. Yeah, you probably should, actually. All right, sure. It feels like we're we're not trying to build up war as much as combo. Because they, really, they don't have any removal in the deck, really, so. I'll just kill Death Baron. So sack this for red. It also means you gotta tap this, so I can attack for three. They're not going to tap it. Wow, okay. Uh, we'll take it here. More stuff after Mog Monday? I don't think so today. Short stream today. Uh, did a lot of YouTube work today. Uh, they reveal. They only get one token. Sweet. Undead Servant. I'm gonna need that one. And, uh, yeah, so kind of a short day off today. John had his first school from home day today, which is pretty wild, so. Um, we need more War Chiefs. Honestly. That's what we need. Ringleader. War Chief. We hit four goblins. Prospector, Crater Maker, Ringleader, Ringleader. We need War Chiefs, though. We need more War Chiefs. Um... I didn't get started yet. I wasn't even started. Mog Monday. All right, so yeah. Yeah, I think that War Chief is the key. We just want every single War Chief ever. There are what? How many War Chiefs are in this deck? Nine? Something like that? You just need lots and lots and lots of War Chiefs. All the War Chiefs. Mulligan, no war chief. Keep. Ship siege gang. I think the siege gang is like the, the flood point. There's a lot of siege gangs, you know? 
Oh, the green deck again. Green deck on the play seems scary. Oh, look, he told you. Told you there's plenty of those. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Green deck seems good. Green deck seems good. Oh, we have 11 ringleaders in our deck. So... Okay. Uh, sure. Yes, these decks are... Claim my prize. What's my prize? What did I win? Oh, stuff. All right, cool. That was weird. They seem really, 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 really ahead that game. Um, these decks are pre-made. I don't think that our deck is an optimal mix of goblins. Uh, I definitely want to see some goblin instigators. It's a pretty fun deck building exercise. That should be really fun if, like, they allowed us to build our decks. Just, like, no max card limit. Build your deck, go. That'd be a really fun event, I think. I think that this has some nuts. Um, I think that... Uh, I think that... Arena should do more fun events like that. It's definitely, I guess it's um, maybe awkward to program because you only own four copies of each card. I don't know how it works exactly, but... I think that these kinds of fun events where they just totally break the rules of magic and they only last for like, you know, a weekend are perfect because... They kind of exploit the uh, online format. They allow you to do it, have fun. If it's broken, awesome. That's like a good thing. You broke it, great. It's gone already. So, you know, it's not like it's not like if someone breaks it, the game just ends, you know, so. What's up, Tom? The promised end. Is it going, everyone? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Double War Chief. Not going to attack. They make a zombie and block, so. Yeah, they, they should have an event every weekend that's just like some really weird deck building restriction, crazy stuff, you know? Alright, we're we're going. Uh we're doing it. Let's just go. Triple War Chief. Ringleader. We hit only one. That's pretty bad. That's a pretty big brick there. Uh can't attack. That's not good. Uh, we need to draw, or we need to, we need to just not have them play another, another Baron here. We gotta kill this Baron before they play another one. Crater Maker, hold on. Hold on tight, Crater Maker. Siege Gang also costs two. Supplier, sure. Mill, lands, and Crypt Breaker. Ringleader, that's okay. We're definitely gonna kill the uh, the Baron. Let's just play this first, though. Let's see if we hit a Skirt, Pros Skirt Prospector. We did it. Uh, I think they just lose. I would really appreciate it if they didn't concede, honestly. Play Siege Gang. I guess we have no, uh, we don't have any, um, any more ring leaders to keep going, but I imagine this should be a pretty good turn for us. Just gonna toss that one out there casually. So we're gonna sack two tokens and make another siege gang. Would Goblin Chieftain be too powerful for a stork? No, not at all. Alright, so. Now we're gonna. I guess we're actually better off crater makering to kill rather than uh, psyche for siege gang. We don't like really care about our resources, so. Kill that. Pretty sure we just serve here. They, they can make a 2 2 of Crypt Breaker, but we should probably attack everything but the Prospector. Not just another Mog Monday. Make token, sure. 
Discarding an undead servant, sure. So we're going to sack... Uh, I want to keep one Siege Gang alive. So let's sack for red. Sack this one for red. And we'll kill the thing blocking Siege Gang by sacking this unblocked token. And deal them much damage, and all of our stuff lives. And we're actually like a little I gas here. We haven't drawn one of our 11 Goblin Ring Waiters, but... Make a token, or draw a card, sure. Kill that, sure. Take uh, a bunch. Pretty good. And they can uh, only have one servant in the graveyard, so they're a little light on the ability to make a million zombies, so feels pretty good. Necropotence, 84. Built this deck back in 84. Mono Black Arc Ritual Turn 1. Built this deck back in 84. Tiger for 2. No, yes, no, yes. Uh, no blocks. Thanks, Plasma. Appreciate it. Yes, if you missed my video on CoolStuffInc.com today, good lord, go watch it. It's probably the best video I have ever recorded. And I'm not just saying that. Um, I'll plug it out of this game, but it's awesome. So, alright, I mean, we can just, like, sack some of the crappier goblins and kill... Alright, yeah, there's dead. So, unfortunately, we stopped, we stopped bringing what we were doing. We kind of bricked. This deck feels like the old, uh, the old recruiter deck back in the day. Alright, get some coins. Let's keep playing. Let's go. Schmibble says, "What? Well, just watched it. It was incredible. You're hearing the, uh, hearing the, the feedback and chat. Let's play against the. Actually, the white deck seems really good. Ooh. Uh, no war chief. No, no busto. No war chief. No good. Our opponent exploded. I guess in the free to play events, people just concede really fast, which is kind of lame, but." If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. Mog Monday, we're playing this workshop format. There are four decks pre-built that break the rules of magic. This is our deck list right now. Six Prospectors, four, four Crater Makers, nine War Chiefs, 11 Ringleaders, six Siege Gangs, 24 Lance. And you play against the decks in the event. The green deck, for example, has 15 Lano Elves. Um, the black deck has 15 copies of Undead Servant. So we're breaking the rules of magic right now. And uh, we are... Just having a good time here with Workshop. We are many of the event from Arena. Do you leave that to watch the video? No, but I will show it to you right now. Coolstuffinc.com. Of course, I do a video Monday, article Friday. Today's Monday, being Mod Monday, of course. And uh, the video is the greatest league ever played. No hyperbole. Watch it and find out. Where I play... Unexpected results, as requested from last week. We played against this deck last week, and everyone was like, that's really cool. So here it is. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Not going to miss it. CoolStuffInc.com, the greatest league ever played. Keep. Turn to Warchief. Love it. And they mill two undead servants. Pretty good. You can start going off on turn, uh, turn three here a little bit, though. Crypt Breaker, sure. Pretty good opening, pretty good opening. So no attacks here. Would not trade War Chief for anything. Wouldn't trade you for the world, Goblin War Chief, even though I would prefer the old art. Wouldn't trade you for the world. Supplier. Alright. Just gotta keep these death barons out of, out of the way, you know. Three undead servants in the graveyard. War Chief number two. Um, yeah, we're going to play this so we can do double Greenwood next turn. You can double your fun and watch it during the stream. It is true. End step. So they Crypt Breaker here and discard one of these Undead Servants. Alright, they did not. So they, they play a Servant and they get a bunch of zombies. 
Alright, this is the first good draw from the black deck here. Oh, lord. Uh, Alright. What can we do here? What can we do here? Ring Raider says... Prospector Ring Raider. Ring Raider, that's perfect. Um, we're going to go for next turn, I suppose. Ring Leader. Alright. We've got quite the... Uh, Quite the hand here. Quite the hand. They're gonna draw a lot of cards though. They're gonna draw a lot of cards. They're also going off. Oh boy. Attack for two. Uh, no blocks. If we hit a siege gang next turn, I think we can go off. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh my god, so many zombies. So many zombies. Alright. Um, these cost two right now. But the Warchief, they cost one. Yeah, this works. So, Warchief. Ringleader for one. And you see each gang here. We got a lot of looks at it, though. I'm, yeah, I'm, <laughs> that's all we got was a siege gang, but we'll take that. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Uh, we've assembled our combo, basically. It's kind of like playing food chain, honestly. So, stack one of these for red. Play Siege Gang. Their board's really good, so hopefully they'll let us do it. Play Siege Gang. Make tokens. Stack for red. Ringleader. Two more Siege Gangs. We're going to play our entire deck. So in this case, CJ is basically a seeding song. Uh, spend two red, get a bunch of mana. Oops. That'd be real bad if it's like the Prospector. Play Siege Gang. Don't concede upon it. Don't you concede. Having fun. I guess this has to hit, but we've already been through five ringleaders. We have six left. Got there. Don't you concede upon it, I swear. Ringleader hits. Two more ringleaders. <laughs> Raise your hand if this is the most awesome thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Just another Mog Monday. Just kidding, it's not a normal Mog Monday. We're going off. Play Siege Gang. We have 31 cards in deck. Why are there so many copies? We're cheating. Why are we allowed to cheat? Hopefully they're reading Shakespeare right now. What Shakespeare play do you think they're reading right now? Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep going, keep going, don't stop. Eventually we'll have played our entire deck. And our, our deck will only be mountains. We might be running low here. Uh, it goes back at random, right? Nope. This is the bottom of our deck, right? <laughs> so we have this many cards left to keep going through. Uh, Zach for red. Play ring later. Oh, yeah. Sack for red. Play Siege Gang. Don't you concede. Don't you do it. Scarecrow is awesome. Uh, actually, we're out of, uh, we're out of, we're out of fuel, that's it. This is it, this is our entire deck in play, basically. Um, so let's play a Crater Maker, I guess. Our question is, are they dead? They're at 16. Can you attack with everything but a Prospector and a Siege Gang? And I hope that kills them. We're going to upgrade all of our 1-1s into 2-2s.
They do have a lot of blockers, you know. They've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blockers in theory. So we're going to attack with everything but the, uh, the Prospector and the Siege Gang. Time out! You figure it out, opponent. So, whatever gets blocked, we sacrifice for mana and shoot them with, and we'll see how much unblocked damage goes through. Um, we also just trade off stuff here, too, because we have a million stuff in our hand, so... Oh, we're getting crazy here. Who's ready for Magic Arena to be on mobile? Who's ready? Oh, I have no idea what's happening here. All right, so the ones with the red arrows are currently unblocked. Um, and a lot of these blocks are very favorable for us. We're just, like, killing off two, killing off one ones and stuff. Um, let's see here. So we have two, four, six, eight. Oh, these, these are on block two. There's dead. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, we're super dead. All right, so sack the block things. Four mana. Wish they would stop moving. And then we uh, siege gang targeting them, sacrificing a block, sacrificing a blocked goblin. And then we siege gang targeting them, sacrificing a blocked goblin. What in the world is going on? Sean, what's up, Faber? Thanks to reset, man. I appreciate that. I hope, I hope you're doing well, my friend. That's obviously pretty crazy out there. I would love, 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 love to play some golf, but uh, doesn't currently seem possible at the moment, which really sucks, honestly. I really enjoy playing. Like, playing some golf, getting out of the damn house. Upstairs. How's it going, everyone? It's a special format on Magic Arena. Uh, we are many. There are four event decks. They are all insane. Decks with many, many copies of many, many cards. And two, four, six, eight, and twelve. Gay. Blouses. Boom, 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 boom. Didn't even count right. Did two extra damage. You love to see that. Goblins versus zombies. That's just good TV. That's just good TV. Where's the white deck? I want to shout out the white deck and all of their N10 lifelinking cats. That deck seems so good. Monsieur. Bonjour, Monsieur. Ça va? Ooh, on the draw with turn three, turn three war chief. I definitely want a hand of the week that has five uh, ringleaders in it. Um, we're gonna keep. We only have four prospectors, I think, so... Oh, boy. That's scary. That's scary. Marwin the Nurturer. Alright. This has been getting pretty scary, folks. So, like, should we mulligan any seven that doesn't have a, a, a prospector and a warchief, maybe? Because they're going to go nuts. Like, they're going to play, like, everything. Like, Marwin the Nurturer is, like... Skirk Prospector on steroids. Okay. That's not the worst, I guess. Alright. Uh, Goblin Warchief. No trades. Your turn. They only have two cards left, so they gotta have one of those card draw spells. Uh, call to the Garrick Wildspeaker or whatever. Or, or that, or, or that. 
Um, I think we're dead. We're at three. Yeah, I don't think turn three works here. Is it fast enough on the draw? We got a mulligan to a prospector, I think. Wee. Okay. 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 Learning the format. Learning the format. Green deck's pretty good. Player draw is pretty important. On the draw, we got a mulligan to prospector. Just simple as that. Alright, alright. Luck, skill, victory. Alright. Oops. We're on the draw again? Yeah, we're gonna mulligan. They mulligan too. We're trying to mulligan. Uh. Oh, they scooped. Luck, skill, defeat. Trying again. Just scoop on the draw. This is the problem with, like, the free-to-play events that people just scoop whenever they want to. There's no investment in it. Um, when they used to have, like, the free drafts on the beta server on Magic Online. Oh, this is a nut. Let's go. Let's go. Um, that always happened all the time. People would just, like, play around and drop. They would just draft and drop. Um, always kind of stinky. But just the nature of a free event, you know? Just a little fun. No big deal. No stress of a ladder or anything like that. Um, I decided to, uh, give up on my, my Bronze to Mythic run. Uh, I think breaking, making Bronze to Mythic in three days is probably a little ambitious. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the run going, um, next week, or this week, I guess, I don't know what day it is. Um, the season ends today. I'm just gonna rank back up to exactly where I was at the end of the run. Um, would I trade here? I do have two more War Chiefs. I think, I think I would. I'm gonna rank back up to where I was at the end of the run. And then just keep going, basically. So we'll, we'll do that next week. Or this this this, this coming week. And uh, so a little more Bronze to Mythic Limited, if you've been enjoying that. 14 episodes already recorded. They're all on my YouTube. So oh, I should play the, the, the Creator Maker. Oops, he probably killed this. That was dumb. Oopsie. Well, I guess no other Death Baron and we're fine. We do want to get the War Chief in play, so... All right, 17. No second Death Baron, please. No second copy of Death Baron. Crap. All right, well, now he's got to go big. Might be in trouble. It's got Death Touch, too. Yikes. Yeah, we got to draw, we gotta draw a Ringleader this turn. They're probably going to die. And a Prospector, probably, too. All right. I probably should have killed the Death Baron with the Ukraine Maker. I don't know, like... Goldfishing, that's not the worst, I guess. So we should kill them both now? We're not kill them both, we kill one of them. Yeah, alright. I mean, we kind of like just have to draw an a ring waiter anyway, so... And... We're not going to attack. So we need to draw a Ringleader next turn and have it hit pretty well, I think. We need to hit a Ringleader into Prospector so we can keep going. The old Death Baron. They're just saying go? Uh, okay. If I Siege Gang, I can kill the Baron. That's pretty good. Let's do that instead. We're gonna interact a little bit? What what meta madness is this? Alright, uh so we're just say go. See if they're gonna make zombies here or draw cards, see what they're gonna do. What's up, logo? How's it going everyone? Discard an undead servant, powerful. Discard another undead servant. Alright. I mean, they're making some zombies here. That's fine. We're trying to unload them on tap, I think. Might have blocked with some zombies and then kill some stuff, so. Draw a card. Sure. Sure, sure, sure.
Alright, so pretty easy to just block. Shoot the Death Baron. Bingo. Take two, not a problem. Looking for a Goblin Ringleader off the top, please. Gotta get our combo. We only have 11 copies of it, so. Only 11 copies. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Oh, not really, actually. Only have two. Prospector. Alright. I mean, we're all rolled up. We can choose to draw a, uh, a ringleader. We can once again, like, block and kill something, but now we're kind of, like, under a, a bit of duress here. Uh, no logo, I don't. It's not a creature. You gotta play all creatures in your God Pharaoh's gift decks. So they're going to 15. Go to 14. So don't draw, I guess, Undead Servant's the worst draw. Sure. Carebreaker's so cool. Super sweet guard. Yes, only playing 11 copies of Ringleader. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. I consider the Vile Goblin deck from Mog Monday. I mean, which Vile Goblin deck? I've played lots of Vile Goblin decks on Mog Monday. It's episode 24. Sure, Rob. You can. Alright, so they're going to smash. We're just going to block and shoot. And just go to, go to three and just try and uh, try and draw a ringleader here, I think. Deck feels pretty all in. You got to like really get our pieces to come together. When they do, we're probably like the most combo centric of the four decks, but. So take that much. Untap. Ringleader, off the top, please. Tilt. Tilt. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You know, it's only 11 copies. It's just 11. Just 11. You know, just 11. Not enough, clearly. Not enough, clearly. Where my matrons at, too, you know? Get some matrons in there. Let's go. All right, they're playing the black deck also. This hand is the nuts, though. This is probably the actual, like, stone-cold nuts for the event. This is probably the best possible opening end. Just lands, one Prospector, two War Chiefs, and a Ringleader. Probably can't get better than this. Let's go. Maybe, like... I guess the third War Chief's not really necessary. Crypt Breaker, sure. We should break Crypts over here. Yes, rock. It was a, that was an awesome video. My cool stuff video was this uh, for today. It's insane. You gotta watch it. One of the best leagues I've ever, I've ever I've ever had in my entire life. Like as far as entertainment value, uh, just they're just the funnest funnest league ever. Siege gang. All right, so we war chief again here. We could ringleader and then war chief something else next turn. Actually, I like that better. I think. Oh, we're wasting a mana. Big money. Creator Maker, Siege Gang, Siege Gang. So we have uh, everything we need but a Prospector. We have one Ringleader to find it. And next turn we can go Land, War Chief, Ringleader. So, what's up, Goblin Waffle? Oh, let's pitch a Siege Gang. Let's pitch the Creator Maker, I think. Eh, let's pitch a Siege Gang. Crypt Breaker, sure, sure, sure. Supplier, sure, sure, sure. Probably need like two turns here, I would think. They had an undead servant, whatever. Mountain, sure. Alright, so you war chief. Then ringleader. And big money. Hitting Siege Gang and another ringleader, sure. 
Could have also maybe created maker to kill the Baron this turn, but we're 20, and I feel like we're just going to go off and kill them, so... Undead Servant for only one extra zombie, so not too bad, not too bad. We can handle this. We can handle this, we're good. Another War Chief. Alright, so we go... This should be our turn. If we hit a Prospector off of our Ringleader, this is going to be our turn. One Matter Ringleader. Survey says... Skirk Prospector. And we're off to the races, folks. Oh, yeah. It's great. Now, we could just like kill Baron and say go. Can we kill Mister? We probably can kill Mister. And they've at eighteen. Yeah, we can definitely kill Mister. Just keep going. Why stop? Why stop? Yes, he changed the rituals. It's Mog Monday. Everyone smile. And another siege gang. And ringleader. For one. Oh look, another ringleader. I have an idea. I guess we actually if we brick on this, we, we could we could not be in amazing shape, but ringleader. Nope, we're gonna keep going. Ringleader. Uh oh. Okay, so we're out of ringleaders. Um, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have a lot of attackers. They have a lot of blockers. I think we're just going to kill the, the Baron and say go here. We attack, we'll attack. We attack with our, uh, our ringleaders, but play Crater Maker. Don't know if we can kill our opponent this turn. We can definitely uh, do some pretty good stuff. Kill the Baron. And we're going to serve with all the ringleaders. One war chief. I think we have maybe two is enough to have him play. And all but one siege gang. Yep, I like it. So they got, they got like a lot of blocks here. They just die. An alpha shark might just kill them. I mean, I guess maybe not because we got to keep our. Siege gang. Attack with everything it's not. Maybe we just killed. I don't know. The 18's a lot. Like, they have six blockers. They block all these. Take two, four, six, eight, and yeah, they were just dead, actually. <laughs> they were just dead. Yeah, whatever. Works for me. Gang. Blouses. Combo kill. What turn was that? Turn four? Turn five? Turn five? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Christian Blood Eyes says, forgot to mention the other day, my show Griswold's Edge was amazing. As a huge metalhead and a huge Diablo fan, it was right up my alley. Awesome, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty small, uh, s small audience for that one. The, the Venn diagram of people who like hardcore and metal and people who are intimately familiar with Diablo 1. So, pretty small Venn diagram, but happy that one hit with the ones who liked it. Um, growing up, uh, me and my, and my buddy Matt were big into, like, heavy music, metal, and hardcore and stuff. And we love Diablo. And we used to joke around about like a fictional metal band we were going to be in called Griswold's Edge. And how we would um, we'd only ever have one show, be a BlizzCon. Because everyone who went to the show would be we would be killed. We would ent we'd enter the stage and like we'd be like killing each other and stuff and like killing the audience. And you know, the, the, we would say, oh, let's open this pit up. And like the buzz saws come out and stuff like that. We used to just joke around about that all the time. So um, that's kind of what, what bore the Griswold's Edge thing. So... I just had a radio show one day, wanted to just, you know, kind of do it, and uh, 
a lot of fun. So definitely very, very obscure content for sure. But if you like, uh, if you're interested in Diablo 1 or the Diablo series in general, or if you're interested in hardcore metal, like heavy music, um, I put up an old radio show I had. Oh, this is so stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention. Ah, oh, crap. Oopsie. Jim D. Punt. Um, on my YouTube, it's a one-hour archive show for my radio show in 2014. Um, yeah, it's heavy music and like the Diablo sound clips and stuff, all live edited. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. All right. Well, that was pretty dumb. I just screwed up while I was talking, but uh, that's okay. It's fine. Let's play a fair game here. Our deck is the only deck, oh, the only deck that actually has removal. So, what's up, Lord? You folks sitting, welcome to the stream. This is a special Magic Arena format. Uh, there are four decks, and they all contain very large amounts of numbers of cards. Our deck has 11 ringleaders in it. 11. So, uh, pretty crazy stuff here. Ringleader sits. Warchief, Warchief. Alright, so we're we're like sort of back in business. Um, I'm going to attack here. We're actually playing like a real game magic here. All these games have been like combo goldfish games, but... We don't actually have another ringleader. We have 10 more in our deck, though. So... All right, let's get into combat here. No servants in the graveyard. Love it. War chief. Okay. War chief. War chief. Say go here. We got siege gang. We need we need some stuff here. Honestly, we need a we need a war a ringleader or a, a prospector would be nice. Ringleader is definitely the most important one. Servant number three. Our opponent should be like discarding these to Crypt Breaker probably, but you know, what are you gonna do? Right, make a trade. Make a trade. Also, gonna attack first, then done that. So, you know, not completely optimal play, but that's okay. Uh, another War Chief and Siege Gang, and I think that's it. We're just gonna kill this Servant and attack. Smash. Significant. This is like an actual game of Magic the Gathering we're playing right now. As, as Richard Garfield intended, we're just like killing stuff, playing creatures, attacking. It's so normal. Basic. What you got, Sweet Tooth? Nothing. We're a little light too, honestly, but... This is probably enough to win the game. Um, we do have six mana and our, and our Siege Gang in play, so I imagine we should be uh, successful here at our attacks. We just got to lead back the Siege Gang. Play the white deck. It's insane. Uh, it's Mog Monday. It's Mog Monday. And the white deck does look insane. We've played like maybe 10 games now. I haven't played against it once, which is kind of preposterous, honestly, because it seems un unbelievably good. But So whatever's blocked here, we just sacrifice and we just die. So... You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Sacrifice a goblin. Sorry, War Chief. For the greater good here. For the greater good. Sorry, Captain. We do trade lives. Boom. Shakalaka. Cool. All right. Let's do one more game. And again, this is the event if you, if, you, if you missed it right now. Workshop, we are many. There are four decks. They all contain ungodly amounts of cards. Um, and I do, again, think it'd be really, really cool if they had an event where you could build your own deck with any number of copies of cards. Um, I think that sort of deck building event would be really, really fun. Uh, but this is a good step. I think, I think events like this are very fun. You play them for an hour or two. You have a laugh. It's good fun. That's it, you know? All right. Bring on the white deck. I'm ready to kill some cats. I think this is the white deck. It's based on sleeves. Our hand is good. Oh boy, here we go. So they have 15 copies of this card. Charmed Stray. 1-1 one, one lifelink. When Charmed Stray enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature you control named Charmed Stray. So they're all just like Lord of Atlantis lifelinkers. So I can't I can't see how this deck is actually beatable, honestly. <laughs> Like, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like, if they go stray, stray here, attack for three lifelink. Like, what? 
So, pump the squad. Alright, they only have one stray. Alright, that's good. What about an event with only basics and all of a single card? I love it. Love it. I think fun events like this should be the norm on Arena. Every weekend, have some dumb event with some silly deck building restriction and just go nuts, you know? Alright, so we can't block this, obviously, just with the pipe play another cat, so. They don't have a pump spell, do they? Oh, crap. Is there, is there a pump spell in their deck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Arrestor Zeal. Plus two, plus two. All right, we're dead. Didn't know that existed. We're unfamiliar with the white deck in this metagame, you know? There was no way we could win now. Like... <laughs> Reminds you of Tavern Brawls and Hearthstone? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't play Hearthstone, but I've heard of that before. It's just fun to have, like, fun, fun, silly rules, you know? Charming Prince. All right, so they're going to flicker for stray, the Stray, I assume. They're going to scry. They're going to bottom, bottom. Their hand must be terrible. All right, so note to self, don't get in combat with them, if possible, because they have tricks. I mean, that war chief is going to cost the game for sure. Oh, come on, just attack. You think I'm ever blocking there? I should get blown up by a rusher zeal? Come on. Have a little gusto. Have a little gusto and send a cat into the red zone, all right? All right, well, they seem hesitant to be uh, aggressive, so we're going to split siege gang as they go. I am not attacking. <laughs> on you know, on the scenario where they had the zeal and they're keeping it black, keeping it back. Mm, no blocks. Okay. Bishop of Rebirth. Whenever it attacks, turn a creature card, mana cost through us, and rebirth the battlefield. But there are no creature cards in the graveyard. Cool. Alright, play Goblin, Ringleader. Siege Gang and Ringleader. I mean, their life is, like, pretty high right now. If I had thrown that guy Warchief away, I'd be in good shape. But, alright, we're just going to go here. Bishop of Rebirth. Uh-oh. Alright, so we can just kill... The thing is, we kill the stray, but just attack and get it back. And then the other two strays get bigger. Oh, man. That's probably better than a 3-3, though. I also just, like, don't want to ever get in combat with them. Because they can probably just, uh... I mean, I'm gonna bump spell here. Alright, we're gonna kill this. I guess we're gonna, like... Blocked and sacked. So they didn't gain life. I don't think the light really matters, though. I have bad. I'm just, like, not sure how we're ever, like, getting enough critical mass to win this game. Yeah, that was probably, that was probably dumb. Charm Stray Deck, let me tell you. Uh, the only attacker here is Charms, Charming Prince. No, no, yes. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, that was terrible. I should have just, just not done that. That was really stupid. Now I can't block and shoot either. Uh, all right. Yeah, that was dumb. All right, we played. We played we'll do one more game. We, we, played really, we, played, we played really bad this game. Uh, ringleader? There's our prospector. We only have one war chief though. Um, Alright, let's take up. Can make some blocks, do some stuff. Uh we played the mirror. No, but it's a black deck like a thousand times. So the bishop is staying home. Interesting. So we'll block the 3-3 and we'll block 
the here and here, here and here. Uh, okay. Then we'll shoot the charm stray. Oh man, they have a. Uh, I guess if they have a uh, a trivia inside for something else too, but kill that. And okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. Untap. 37 life. Goblin ringleader, help me out, my friend. War chief. But no ringleaders. Crap. Uh okay. War chief. War chief. I mean, sack for... We just block with two things and sack both. That's probably just play Siege. I guess we want to keep the material, maybe. Let me just say go here. We just block with ringleaders, sack them for red, Siege Gang something, I guess. We can even not Siege Gang, honestly. We just say go. The next turn, we're going to go, we're going to go Bananas, so... They seem to be pretty flooded and don't have that much else going on. They can return a stray when they attack, but... Charming Prince. So all we have to do is deal 37 damage next turn. Well, they pump the cat, which block and sack anyway, so. What does Zeal do? Well, they didn't, they didn't cast it, so yeah, we, we're, we're at a Zeal, obviously, but. Alright, so we're going to block. We're not going to bother killing this thing. We should have sack and block and stay alive. I want to keep all the War Chiefs. I guess we could just block, block this thing, right? We just lose each game. We have, we have three more. This is fine. All right. Do this. We'll sack the ringleader for red. So they don't gain three. And then we'll see if we can kill him next turn. All right. This is the turn. We don't have any, uh, we don't have any ringleaders, though. I could probably just kill their stuff, though, realistically. Like... Siege gang shoot, siege gang shoot, siege gang shoot. Shoot this. Attack this. Attack for a million. If they draw exactly arrest your zeal, we'll die, but no, actually not with it. Maybe we'll just we'll attack everything and kill anyway. Attack with everything, lead back one. Let's see, go. Let me just like block, shoot. Next turn is double siege gang. Probably kill them. Probably should have played a siege gang. Leave them one red. We like lose a goblin in the exchange, but it's probably just better to split more stuff. And they are breaking off pretty good here. Siege gang. Siege gang. That's game! Alright, they, they fought it pretty bad. They got a little lucky that game, but we'll take it. We'll take it. So, that's going to do it. Nice, fun, short mod Monday today. It was John's first day back at school. He, he had to do like distance learning stuff in, in the office and stuff. It was been a crazy day. So, um, we, yeah, we draw cards though, and they don't. So, Ringleader's pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty amusing event here. The old gob smacked. Um, played against all the decks. The green deck does seem really really good. But uh, definitely, if you're gonna play this event, make sure you mulligan aggressively because there's no removal in these decks for the most part. You gotta just do your thing. It makes you better make sure your thing goes pretty quick. So, if you're playing, playing the goblin deck. I would mulligan any hand. This doesn't include a, a war chief. 
And if I'm on the draw, I probably want War Chief Prospector. But with London Mulligan, shouldn't be too hard to find that. So definitely a very amusing time here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this Mog Monday. Our deck for next Mog Monday is a riot. I was going to play it today, but then I saw this event was a, was a thing, so we decided to do this instead. But um, our deck for next Mog Monday is a riot. It's a modern version of uh, Goblins with a, a number of crazy twists in it. So not going to miss that next week for Mog Monday. So if you're watching on YouTube, please take, take 10 seconds to like, comment, subscribe. Helps me out a ton, please. Every video you watch, if you like it, hit the like button. Leave a comment saying you liked it. Um, the interaction helps me out just a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So please, every video you watch, if you like what I'm doing, please do that for me. I appreciate that. And otherwise, folks, I'll see you guys next week for the Mog Monday. All right, YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. I love you.